bad. The second half way too advanced. I'm ready. We're down about 3k. There's no way out. I won. Now you don't deserve any applause. All right, so my history with the main event. I never thought four years ago ever that I'd ever be able to play it. I remember telling Katie, I just dreamed one day that I could be playing, watching John Sin and Tony Miles, heads up. Like, I hope I'm a rich businessman one day and I could just afford to blow 10K. So this is the history of me with the main event before we get into this video. With the shitty audio, I have to do it this way for my psychosis. I tried to record it nicely, fuck, stop. Hey, we gotta be ratchet for this channel to work. I played in 2020. It was a bootleg online dog shit version. Oh my god, he's all in, dude, and I have kinks. This monkey guy. There's no way I'm folding. Fuck WSOP.com in that manner. It didn't work. And last year, 2021, you could check the vlog of it. I busted day one. I didn't even get to stay over. I didn't even get to sleep sleep over at her house. No, nothing. Very upset. I wasn't patient enough. Um, I made a couple mistakes. I got very unlucky, but uh, this is... I'm Tonight, ready. Tonight, from... Oh. It's certainly Today's day one of the main event. I'm fucking nervous. I'm scared, but I'm ready mentally. Meditated for the second time in this year. I'm fucking ready. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog, nothing, because I'm fully focused on this. I don't know how I'm gonna piece together this edit, the hand histories. I may, I'll probably just say later. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm focused. Deep run is a better vlog. Better vlog is a better vlog. You could have a thorough hand history where I bust day one like last year or haphazardly piece together a deep fucking sweat. I prefer that and you prefer that. See you guys when I see you. No disrespect. I hope you understand. So now, if you don't know, table draw is very important because you're gonna be with those people for a long day when you sit down at the World Series of Poker main event. I'm nervous as fuck. I'm so nervous, I'm scared to fuck up. Even though we didn't really fuck up last year, we sorta of did, sorta of didn't. Half our chips, we lost the coolers, half to, what, to fuck it up. We're ready, we're ready to be patient, but I'm nervous as shit. We go down and sit at our table, and lo and behold, we see a friendly face. Here we are, day one of the main. Table draw matters a lot, and they rigged it. They don't want too many ACR pros left, so they, they have to have us battle it out day one. Anna Marquez, ACR Team Pro, is at our table. Anna's the shit. This will come into play strategically and help us later. But we'll get to that. The rest of our table, we don't know. We try to get information, but our plan is to just pay patient as fuck and just pay attention to everything everyone is doing. But first, we're so nervous, we pee and miss the first fucking hand. We come back, we're still all jittered up though. I knock chips off my stack for the first time. Never done this in a tournament before in my life. Oh, my bad. All right, so we already lost a chip, hit it off the table. I've never done that ever in the floor to come. I think it's a good omen though. I'm gonna not vlog, I'll be back at, like later. But it was just fun in the floor to come. They found the chip over there. The floor comes over, retrieves the chip, and now we're really playing poker. And right away, it's going really well. We're playing tight, we're paying attention to everything everybody's doing, building a catalog. When this guy bets this way, oh, he was bluffing. This guy bet this way, okay, he had it. Early on, we flop a set of sixes. We fill up on the turn, it's a multi-way pot. I wanna give you all the rigmarole details because there's more hands to get to later. And honestly, fuck your mother. We flop a set, turn the boat, you know, river a boat, whatever, we get paid a little bit. We didn't. We, we missed a vet river bet. We're at like 70K. This is a great fucking start. Our goal in the day, which is not a good thing to do, set goals, but we were just telling ourselves, I'd be happy to bag 80K. We're already halfway there, we got 70K. At 100, 200, with a 200 big blind ante, with an effective stack of 60K, we open up ace jack offsuit in the hijack. We raise to 600, a whaley Asian guy in, in the on the button calls, and we're heads up to a flop of jack five, four, two tone. We wanna get value, we bet, He's a sticky guy who's blasting. We bet 500 and he pretty quickly raises us to 1500. And I'm like, yo, I'm not paying off old people, even if they're well, I'm not paying, but I can't fold top pair, top kicker. I'm not, I'm not fucking doing it. So we call, we'll, we, we'll evaluate the turn. And the turn is a good evaluation. It's another fucking jack. So we're gonna play in flow. We check. Now he bets 2200. I'm thinking he has stupid ass straight draws. He doesn't have over pairs. He didn't three bet. This guy's pretty fucked. I call. The river comes, a stupid offsuit three. The front door flush draw doesn't get there. We have top trips, but we gotta play in flow again. We, we assume we wanna give him credit for spazzing out. And he bets 3,000. And I figure if he's bluffing, we're not gonna get paid if we raise. There's really no need to raise. Maybe he pay with nines or eights, but it doesn't seem worth it. Uh, we just call and he mucks. And we, we don't have to show the rest of the table. We win a nice pot. And dude, we're going to the first fucking break after getting lucky against Anna also with 82 some shit K in our stack. Dude, this is sick. Go, go to the footage of the first break. All right, so the, our nerves are settled down a little bit, but we're running well, playing the game plan, which is patient, not, you know, it up. And then that's it. A little less nervous, a little more stacked. So, 
It's the first break of the day. We have 82K. Our goal was 80K. Not that you should set a goal, but we're already there. We're, it's, we're very happy, but it's early. But here's the most helpful, amazing thing that happened. Poker Gods put Anna Marquez, like I said, fellow ACR team pro at our table. And we go right to each other to talk strategy and shit right, right as the break starts. I don't know if I contributed anything. She fucking helped me. She was like, I know all these players from Bellagio. I play cash with them. She just like confirming every 30% like, like assessment I had of the players. Some, nope. She was just like, this guy's this, 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 this guy's this. And it was fucking beyond helpful the rest of the day. Shout out to Anna, thank you. So we come back from break with 82K. Then with blinds at 200, 300, with a 300 big blind Annie. We yet again look down in the hijack at pocket sixes. We raise it to say 900. Dick face in the cutoff. You're not a dick face, but fuck your mother. He three bets to 3,500. Folds around to us. He has about 30K in his stack, maybe 100 bigs, maybe a little bit less. We're not, we're not folding. We call, flop comes. King, three, two, two clubs, one spade. That shit doesn't matter. We have top set again against the same kid again. And he's fucking tilted. He's been blasting and he just three bet us. And now we have a set again. This is fucking perfect. We check, he bets 5K and we just snap jam and he calls off for his fucking remaining 25K, whatever it was. I don't remember what it was. It was like 80 bigs. It was a shitload of fucking big, dude. He has pocket kings. He has the backdoor clubs. We have to fade it. I don't have footage, but the turn is something. The rivers is something. Neither are fucking kings. Let's go. We have fucking like 100 in the main event right now. Oh, it's fucking sick. Break two. We have 134. We continue to running well. We're fucking playing well, dude. I'm gonna not do negative affirmations. Come back, 130K. First break, we had 82. Now we got 130. This is fucking unreal start to the day. But we're staying calm as best we can, staying patient, trying to not remember the gravity of the moment. When probably my favorite hand of the day occurs. There's a sleepy old man, literally so sleepy that he was sleeping between hands he was involved in, in the big blind. We're in the low jack and we have jack 10 off. So we decide to open 400 big blind. We open to 1200. Sleepy old man off of about 35K in a stack calls our raise. So there's about 3K in the pot, I'd say. We go heads up to a flop of king, queen, six, two tone. He decides to lead for 2K. He donk leads from the big blind for 2K. Okay. He's an old man. I'm like, okay, this is probably a king, but I have an up and down straight draw. I don't give a fuck. I'm not folding. So we just call. Turn comes an eight. I think it's now a three-tone board. He checks and we check back. Let's take the free card with our up and down straight draw. If we bet, he's probably going to spaz out raise if he has a king or whatever we think he has. We river the fucking nine of offsuit. We have the nuts. We have the stone cold nuts. And this guy decides to bet like 80% pot. He bets 5K. I think he has about 30K. I don't even remember. Dude, it was an absurd amount of chips, right? So he bets 5K. Okay. Hopefully he has king, queen, hopefully Hopefully he has king nine, would I, I don't know. I three exit to 15K and he thinks for a second and then just goes all in. And I actually was annoyed because I just assumed we we're chopping. Like I was like, fuck man, I wanted a call, not, a, not an all in. So I eye roll call, cause I'm calling an old man's three bet jam on the river in the main event. I'm like, all right, all right, nice chop buddy. Chop it up. And I call and he turns over pocket nines for a rivered set. We scoop his fucking stack too. We end up going into the dinner break with 200K dude. The, in, for this structure, guys, this is insane. This is fucking insane. 200,300, going well, I'd say. So far, luck, luck, fucking city, dinner break. We're here at Gordon Ramsay's with Adam. We just ate a bunch of really, really good food. This guy's fucking hilarious. He says more offensive things in real life than he says on the internet, which that goes a long way with me. <laughs> Confirmed edge lord. But anyway, we got heaps. We got 200K, we're fucking ki killing, but two more levels, all good. We're gonna stay calm, fucking zen zone, not punt, right? Not punt, say it's the long, long fucking thing, never punt. So we have our dinner with no jumper and Scott Ball and Ape Styles and such of the big wigs that, you know, someone of our caliber hangs out with. For the last two levels, really, we really didn't play very many hands. We played, we, 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 we were car dead as the mush would say for the last level, but happily so because I was getting very tired. But in, in the first level back from break, we have jack seven of spades in the small blind. The button opens to like 1100 at, a, at 300, 500. We call, big blind folds. Flop comes, 10, seven, two, rainbow. We check, he bets, we call. Turn is your mother. We check, he bets, we call. The river's a queen. We check, he bets again. And like, I have third pair. I don't think he's value betting a 10 though on this river. I think most players are just checking back a 10. So I leveled myself into hero calling with the jack seven, which is a very bad play. And he had a uh, pocket joint. So we, we, lose, we lose some chips that way. Then we're gonna make them back. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna make them back. 
we uh, end up in a three-way pot with pocket threes um, against a bunch of fucking doofbags. Really, we're only three ways to fought, but it's against two bad cash game players. We're on either side of me. Not bad, they're probably good at cash, but cash game players, these guys had no clue how to preserve tournament chips. They're really lost in the tournament, honestly. Anyway, we flop a fucking set of threes on an ace high board. It comes ace, three, nine, two tone. Club draw out there. We don't have a club. We check. Uh, guy to our left bets. We raise. We check raise. He calls. Now the turn completes the flush and brings the queen. So now ace queen has two pair. Any of his flush draws got there, but we have a fucking set and all of his ace X are gonna call. So we bet chunky. We bet 11K. I don't remember how big the pot was, but this is a sizable bet. He basically snap calls. And now the river comes an, uh, an offsuit king. So like there's Broadway, uh, Broadway's got there. If he ever has fucking randomly like Jack, fuck 10, like, uh, I don't know, man. We, 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 we lose to straights, flushes, higher sets, but we gotta go for value against his two pair, against his ace X. We, we have to. He, he's a cash game player, he's gonna pay. So we jam, he has like 30K, about like a little less than, a little over pot, I believe, in his stack, maybe, maybe a little less. He tanks forever and eventually folds, told me he had ace queen at the end of the night. We pick up some chips back, you know, we, we obviously wanted the call, but he was tanking so long that I actually was beginning to question whether or not I was bluffing him off a set of sevens or something, or a straight, or, or some crazy fucking stupid ass, like, mistake, but we have to go for value with a set. What, what, what am I, fucking nuts? Then the rest of the day, we really didn't do much. We folded, like, uh, we, ch we chilled, we laughed, we cried. We, we folded through the blinds many times. We were super card dead. Right, final three hands of the day. We need some fucking bags! All right, so we did it. We bagged 188.8. We got tired at the end of the day. I'm glad we have three days off for day two. It's a lot of gifted stacks to us. Sheep was good. <laughs> That didn't boom so loud, but there's big denominations. We ended up bagging a fabulous stack. In fact, the 26th place stack out of 649 people who completed day 1A with me, out of the 889 who started day 1A, 649 completed it, and we were the 26th best of those with our completed stack of 188,800 chips. When I revisit the day, and I realize this early on, I owe someone a very special thanks. I think we all know who that is. Before I came here, I have a pentagram temporary tattoo I packed in my bag, and at the time, I didn't know why I had it, and I didn't know why I packed it. I almost put it on just as a joke before playing the main, but as you heard, in the first two levels, I flopped three sets of sixes, and it instantly became clear to me the purpose of why I packed that tattoo, and I'm dedicating the rest of this run to Satan. Or I'm pointing the wrong direction, to Satan. I can't ignore a table, but yo, praise be to Satan. What do you want me to do? I got a lot of rituals coming on the way. Thanks for watching, yo. Fucking sick day. Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.